Hi Leo, this is your September 9th through the 15th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread, we'll be looking at new love entering your life. In the second spread, we'll check in with those of you who are already involved with somebody. Spread number three will be your favorite spread, <laughs> love from the past. The fourth spread will be work your, uh, your work, your business, and your finances. And uh, the fifth, the final spread will be what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, comment, and subscribe to support this channel. So this first spread is a new love this week, Leo. We have, um, yeah, we got quite a story for you. So we, we got the Ace of Pentacles clarified by the star. We have uh, the Six of Pentacles clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. Then we have uh, the Ace of Swords clarified by the Fool in the potential outcome. We have the Eight of Wands with the Ace of Wands and Strength. And uh, we also have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be dealing um, with pretty much any zodiac sign, but we have mostly Aquarius, Aries, we have another Leo, maybe a Sagittarius, or again, any zodiac sign, we have every single element on the table. Got cups, pentacles, wands, and swords. Alright, so some of you could be dealing with a couple of, with two different people, two different suitors this week, Leo. That's just for some of you. Alright, others of you, if you're dealing with just one person, um, I think it'll take like a nanosecond for you to say yes <laughs> to this person, right? Because I think you yourself will realize that, uh, yeah, this person means business, all right? Because they're, what's interesting is about this reading is that the very first card I came out is the Ace of Pentacles, right? The Ace of Pentacles. And not just any Ace, by the way, we have three Aces on the table. But the Ace of Pentacles, I don't mean to belittle other Aces, but uh, the Ace of Pentacles is like a bundle, it's like a package, all Aces combined into one. The Ace of Pentacles is often referred to as a golden opportunity, once in a lifetime opportunity. Whoever is coming your way this week, they mean business. They really want to get serious with you from the get-go. That's why they're going to drop that Ace of Pentacles on you. However, on the bottom of the deck we have the Page of Cups. It's an invitation. It's, a, it's an invitation to go on a date, most likely. It's an invitation, I don't know, to go somewhere. <laughs> yeah, a date, right? And they're going back to that Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the star. The star could be an Aquarius you're dealing with, but the star is a card of a wish come true. Something people usually wish for and hope for for a very long time. And uh, the wish come true card is clarified by clarifying that Ace of Pentacles. So uh, if you're dealing with just one person, I think even you yourself, Leo, will realize that yes, this is it. It's perhaps either this person is someone you've been waiting and hoping for, or it's someone like this person. Someone like this person you've been waiting and hoping for for maybe your entire life, and it's finally here. This person is finally here, just the way you imagined it. All right. Uh, then we have the uh, Six of Pentacles clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. By the way, I don't usually clarify every single card in the main spread on the left. This time I did. I was hoping to see some court cards, but we got what we got. <laughs> no court cards. But it's not too shabby either, if you ask me. So the Six of Pentacles. For some of you, it could be a card of a choice. Every once in a while, the Six of Pentacles is a card of a choice, because we have three people in the Six of Pentacles, and the person standing up, standing in the middle, is choosing between the two people, right? But for most of you, if you're dealing with just one person. The Six of Pentacles is a card of an equal give and take. It's a card of balance and my favorite way to interpret the Six of Pentacles is, is generosity. Generosity. This is a very generous person coming your way. Maybe wealthy. Maybe a very wealthy person. <laughs> so this person will spare no expense. Will spare no expense. And um, I, again, I think even you will realize it's, uh, it's something you want. The Will of Fortune clarifying that could be interpreted as many different zodiac signs. I usually go with Sagittarius, right? Uh, but if you want to stay general, the Will of Fortune is maybe like a very fortunate turnaround for you, Leo. Very fortunate turnaround. Jackpot when it comes to this individual, right? And it's also a card of starting a cycle, a very fortunate cycle, hence the word fortune in its name. And uh, here comes the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Fool. The Fool could be an Aries you're dealing with, but the Fool is a card of jumping right in. Not because you're desperate, not because you're crazy, not because you're reckless, but again, because even you will realize that this is this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The Ace of Swords often comes through as the word yes, right? So I think this is you saying yes to this person. 
And uh, the Ace of Swords is a card of clarity. Again, you're going to be crystal clear about what's going on and what this person means to you. Um, in the potential outcome, we have the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and Strength. It's all you. In the potential outcome, all those three cards are you. Right? Unless you're dealing with another Leo. But uh, Strength right next to the deck is, uh, is your major Arcana card. Right? The Ace of Wands is a fire sign indicator. You're a fire sign. The Eight of Wands, more fire. Right? Wands are fire. And uh, it's also a card of literally going somewhere, moving forward. And uh, it's one of the fastest cards in the deck. So I think things will happen real quick. This, I think this whole spread will play out <laughs> during one evening. One evening. All of this will play out in one evening. This is, it's going to be obvious to you that this person is serious about you. They mean business. They're very generous and all that good stuff. All right, Leo. Really happy for you. Congratulations. If you are already in a relationship or married, uh, Leo, this spread is for you. We have uh, the Six of Cups, clarified by Strength. Uh, we have the Five of Cups, clarified by the Eight of Wands. Then we have uh, the Queen of Cups and uh, the Hangman on the bottom of the deck. You're going to be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Pisces in particular. Um, I don't know who this Queen of Cups is. <laughs> it could be somebody you're going to be dealing with this week, or it could be you. As a matter of fact, the three cards that came out first before I started clarifying were all cups, right? The Six of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Queen of Cups. So cups are all about emotions, cups are all about feelings, right? And uh, the Six and the Five of Cups, those two cards have to do with the past. So again, you could be embracing the energy of the Queen of Cups and maybe you're going down, uh, going down the memory lane, you're being very nostalgic about something or someone. Or the Queen of Cups is the person who is going to be showing back up, right? Um, yeah, so if, if that's the case, then it's most likely a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. I don't know, again, I don't know who this is to you. <laughs> could be a sibling, it could be a relative, it could be simply somebody who, from your past, from your childhood, um, or something like someone like that, right? The Five of Cups, clarified by the Eight of Wands right there. The Eight of Wands is a card of communication. It's also a card of travel. So, yeah, maybe there's a trip coming up for some of you, or you're going to be planning a trip, or you're going to be communicating uh, with someone from the past, right? The, the Hangman on the bottom of the deck is a Pisces Major Arcana card. Pisces is a water sign, by the way, right? So you could be dealing with the Pisces in particular. But the Hangman is a card of sacrifice, it's a card of uh, stagnation, nothing happening. It could also be a card of like a light bulb moment for some of you, like an, an epiphany of some sort. So yeah, this whole spread has something to do with the past, Leo. Alright? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Leo, this week. Keep in mind it doesn't have to be uh, the most recent X. We have uh, the five of ones clarified by the Magician. Uh, then we have the Six of Cups, Clarified by the Ace of Swords, we have the Page of Cups, clarified by the King of Pentacles, and we have the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we also have Gemini on the table. So I wouldn't be surprised, Leo, if you're dealing with a Virgo, and it's their birthday this week. Right? We're in the middle of a Virgo birthday season, and both the Magician and the King of Pentacles could be a Virgo. <clears throat> the Magician is actually shared energetically between uh, Virgo and Gemini. Right, so maybe you're dealing with a Gemini. <laughs> but uh, the Page of Cups is clarified by that King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles is most likely an Earth sign. Right? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And if it is their birthday, then that's, that's, everything is revolving around that. <clears throat> One other thing I notice is that there's a lot of kids, a lot of children. I count four. <laughs> right? We have two kids and the Six of Cups. Right when then we have the two pages, the page of cups and the page of pentacles. So maybe it has something to do with children this week. All right, or maybe this is somebody from your childhood. All right, um, <clears throat> the five of ones, the first card that came out, it's a card of a struggle. So maybe this is this person struggling uh, before they reach out to you because they have doubts or they have like a fear of rejection or something like that, right. Um, the Magician is also a card of drama, it's also a card of competition. It's possible that this is what happened between you and this person in the past. There was lots of drama, fighting, struggle, what have you. 
But I think the two of you ha have a chance to sort things out. Sort things out, right? The, the thing about the Six of Cups, we're usually glad to see people when they come back from the, uh, when they come back with a Six of Cups energy. Or we do consider reconciliation with this with this person. We're not really bitter. You know what I mean? Um, the Ace of Swords could be a very straightforward, very direct conversation. Um, I often refer to the Ace of Swords as the no BS Ace. So there's going to be a conversation so where the two of you set the record straight or something like that. Or when this person shows back up, they're going to be very honest and very upfront, very straightforward with you. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I think if this is somebody from your past, I think you guys can can definitely give it another shot. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Leo, this week. Uh, we have Judgment. We have the Sun, clarified by the Ace of Swords. Uh, we also have the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. And uh, we have the Fool on the bottom of the deck. Um, well, Leo, <laughs> even I didn't expect this. Um, per that Ten of Swords at the end in particular. But... Um, I think it's all good. It's all good. If you're in the middle of a lawsuit, you're winning and you're getting paid, right? Uh, some of you could be getting paid, could be cashing in on something and maybe quitting your job this week. Others of you, you may get a job offer or a business offer and uh, you're going to be quitting your job so you could um, start a new job or you could be quitting your job so you could start a business or you could be dropping one vendor or supplier or you could be dropping one business partner so you could uh, uh, onboard another supplier or vendor or st get go into partnership with another business partner or something like that there's definitely an ending definitely an ending with a ten of swords but I think it's because there is a new offer on the table right I think you're ending something so you could start something new or you're ending something because because you've got a lot of money and you don't need to work anymore <laughs> those are those are the scenarios I see I think you are here's the deal we do have the Sun right right next to judgment the Sun is your major arcana card Leo that's you all day long any day, every day. That's you. That's your major arcana card. So it's always a good sign to have your own major arcana card in your own reading. That means you are above everybody or you're the one calling the shots or you're in the center of attention. Something like that. If that makes sense, right? And you're clarified by the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a very decisive energy. It's a clear-cut energy. This is you with the sword and uh, you're gonna do what you need to do. <laughs> um, judgment. The first card that came out for some of you is you having to make a judgment call, or there could have been a lawsuit, right? There could judgment could have been could be literally a judge, or maybe a, some other government agency making some kind of a judgment, right? And uh, if that's the case, then it goes in your favor. Then you're gonna get paid. Um, or you're making a judgment call to end something so you could start something new. Right? The Ten of Swords, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. You're the Queen of Wands here. So I think this is you. I, I think this is you making this decision. The Knight of Pentacles is money. Money. <laughs> a very decent chunk of change. Or an offer that leads to financial abundance. Or an offer that's like a long term offer. With, that you're gonna and you're gonna be get and you're gonna get compensated accordingly. All right. So yeah, um, we also have the fool on the bottom of the deck. It's a card of taking a leap of faith, or it's a card of liberation. If you're quitting your job because you don't have to work anymore, there you are liberated. Right? <laughs> or you're taking a leap of faith. Uh, you're jumping right in with the with the new job offer. All right. Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Leo. But I think at this point you already are. But I do have some de more details, <laughs> I guess. So we have Strength, uh, the Four of Wands, the Star, clarified by the Eight of Wands. And we have the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, this is simply an addition, I guess, to the first spread, to the new love spread. I was very, very surprised, Leo, uh, in, during the first spread that there was no commitment on marriage cards. 
I think that first spread still is awesome, but I was really surprised there were no marriage cards. There were three aces, right? And uh, some other really good stuff. And uh, I guess this spread is an addition to that. Um, yeah, we because this spread has some repeating cards. Strength, uh, the star, the eight of wands, right? And uh, the additional cards we have are the four of wands and the ace of cups. So the ace of cups is the missing ace. Right? <laughs> the Ace of Cups it was not there during the first spread. It is here. So you got, I think you got all four Aces now. And the Four of Wands is here. The Four of Wands is a card of a commitment in marriage. Some people call it the 11-11 card. To me personally, the Four of Wands always reminds me of an actual wedding. Uh, maybe you're going to a wedding, maybe you're meeting this person at a wedding, or like a massive family event, uh, but perhaps it's not just family, friends are also invited, you could be meeting this person at some kind of an engagement party, housewarming party, something along those lines, or this is simply a way of the, of the universe, Leo, to tell you that this is what's coming uh, your way with this person entering your life. Yeah, at the end we have the star clarified by the other ones. Yeah, we saw those cards in the first spread, right? The star is a wish come true, could be an Aquarius you're dealing with. The eight of ones is a card of literally going somewhere, it's a Cupid's arrows card and all that good stuff. So yeah. <laughs> perhaps what you're not expecting, yeah, it will lead to commitment or even marriage with this person. <clears throat> Alright, Leo, so um that's what I have for you. For this reading, for this week, if this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Leo, have an amazing week.